Hey everyone. I know I said it'd be a week before I did another video, but I wanted to correct something I said in the Jane Eyre video. I mentioned that Grover Cleveland had his mistress put in an insane asylum. I was wrong. She wasn't his mistress. She was someone he raped. Um, her name was Maria Halpin. She was a widow. She had two young children. She briefly knew Mr. Cleveland and had agreed to go to dinner with him. And apparently after dinner, he raped her. And in her own words, in her own um, affidavit that she signed, she stated, by force and against her will. The fact that she did that in 1873 is a miracle. It's a miracle we even know about it. So the child was a boy. And when he was, when Grover Cleveland was running for mayor of Buffalo, New York, he had her committed to an insane asylum and he had the child forcibly removed and put in an orphanage. She was released from the asylum eventually because they decided she was not crazy. Um, I think he tried that tactic several times. Um, so luckily for her, she was able to get out of the asylum. Um, I didn't find out what happened with the child. I do know that later when he ran for president, the news found out about his illegitimate child. And he said that she was just a whore who drank to excess and passed out and had sex with plenty of his buddies. And how did he know it wasn't one of them who was the father? He only took responsibility because he was a good man. Because he did sign the birth certificate. So I think that's how they found him. Um, yeah. Uh, she deserves better than the term mistress. She deserves better than the term mistress. She was dragged through the mud and for the rest of her life was associated with Grover Cleveland as pretty much either his mistress or his whore. And I cannot imagine having to live that life. And I cannot imagine that 150 years later when people talk about it, they would still use that language. So I am not going to. He raped her. He was a horrible person. And that deserves to be more clearly stated. Um, so if you want to look it up, it's the Grover Cleveland sex scandal. Her name was Maria Halpin. She died in 1902. And when she died, she asked him not to publicize it because she did not want people to come gawk at her body. She did not want to be known as the whore of Grover Cleveland that had died. So, I think it's horrible. I think the fact that all these years later, 150 freaking years, and the language of those in power who abuse women has not changed. It's still, she was a slut. She slept with too many people. How do I know she didn't want it? 150 years and they can't find a new song. It's awful and it's horrible. And I am sorry that I did not do her credit in the first video. So now you know her story. And next time someone brings it up, you can let them know who she is. So, or even if they don't bring it up, you can just rub random history factoids in their face. Tons of fun. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess that's it for tonight. Thanks. Bye.